Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to import the Ibiza demo in the VP Rental Steam. On this domain I have already installed the VP Rental Steam and I have installed all Team included plugins. Before proceeding with the Ibiza demo import I will need to activate my theme and here I will need to add my Team Forest username and the purchase code. Once you added your details you will need to click the consent box and click register license. My theme is now activated, I will refresh the page, you will need to check the plugins section and you will need to make sure that the SVG support plugin is installed and active. The theme supports SVG icons for features and amenities and for the demo icons to be imported along with the demo content you will need to have this plugin installed and active before the demo import. Now you can proceed with the demo import. You will need to go to VP Rentals Options Import Demo. Here you will find all team included demos. You need to be aware that you can import only one demo at once. If you already imported a demo and you want to import a new one, you will need to reset database. We have a dedicated video tutorial for this process. Also, if you want to reset a database, you will need first to deregister the license code. You'll have the option here in VP Rentals License. You will need to click Deactivate License, Reset Database, and after Activate the license again. I will go back to the import section. I will look for the Ibiza demo. This is the one. I will click import demo and continue and import. The process might take a few minutes. The demo import is complete and next I will show the steps that you need to take after the demo import. I will click visit site. The demo content was imported and next I will show the steps that you need to take after the demo import. I will go back to admin and first you will need to set permalinks correctly. For that you will need to go to settings permalinks. Here you will need to set permalinks to postname. I will save the change and next you will need to replace the demo team options with your own. For that you will need to go to VP Rentals options and start with the general section. You will need to check each section here and add your details. In general you will find details for the default country, measurement unit, disable or enable the team cache, in logos and favicon you will need to upload your own logos in booking settings you'll have you need to set the booking options that you need here you can select the booking type per day per hour or mixed you can select weekend days date format and make other settings in social and contact you'll need to replace the contact demo details with your own also you can add social accounts and enable social login in map you will need to choose the map system that you want to use. You can keep OpenStreet which is a free service or enable Google Maps. If Google Maps will be selected then a Google Maps API key will need to be created and added in team options here. In listing page you will have settings for the listing page. You can choose listing page design type. You'll have the global option to replace the booking form with a contact form. You'll have a listing page layout to manage the listing page sections. In design you can manage colors and other design settings. In email management you can set the content of the notifications that will be sent from your site. In payments and submit you can make settings for the front-end submission page. Here you can select the fields that will show in submission. Also you can set the submission type. You can keep it to no for free submission or you can set it to per listing or membership. Here you can also make settings for the payments. You can use PayPal or Stripe from the team or you can enable WooCommerce and use any add-on from the WooCommerce plugin. In booking payment options you'll have the option to set the deposit fee and the service fee for your bookings. In search you can manage the advanced search options. You can make settings for the advanced search results page. You can enable the multi-selection option for taxonomies. You can select the search type, manage the fields for the half map filter section. You can enable or disable geolocation and make other settings. In the SMS manage management section you can enable the SMS service that will be powered by Tulio. This was just a quick overview of the existing team options. You will need to check each section and make the settings that will fit your site. Now I will go on front end 
you can see that the demo content was imported. And for the home page to show exactly as the one in the official demo, you will need to make manual adjustments. For example, in this section, we use a short code with property categories and since on import the categories IDs will be different, you will need to manually select the categories for the section and manually upload images for each category. Scrolling down, the same will apply for this section as well. So first I will show how these two sections were created and what you need to do to make them look as the ones in our official demo. The page was created with Elementor, so the first step is to click edit with Elementor. I will scroll down to the first section. We used the VP Rentals featured category widget and for each element a category was assigned. I will check each of them and assign categories for the ones that do not have a category assigned from the demo import. I will scroll down to the second section. Here we used the same widget. I will check it as well. The same category was saved for all elements. I will change the categories for the other two. I will save the changes made and now I will need to manually upload an image for each category used on home page. For that I will go back to admin. You will find listing categories under listings. They are categories what do you rent, city, area, features and amenities and property status. I will start with city category. To upload an image, I will need to edit the category, press the upload image button. You can select images from media or upload ones from your device. I will upload an image from my device, so I will click select files. I will select the image that I want to display. I will press insert into post and update. I will go on front end and refresh the home page and here you will see the image that I just uploaded. I will go back to admin. This time I will add an image for a category. The steps are exactly the same regardless of the category that you want to edit. I will edit house. I will click the upload image button. I will select an image from my device. Click insert into post and update. I will go back on the home page and refresh again. And now you will see here the image that I just uploaded. Since the steps are exactly the same for each category, I will add the rest of the images of the record and after show the results. I added all images. Now the home page shows exactly as the one in our official demo. These are the steps that you need to take after the demo import. And next I will show some quick guidelines on how to manage the sections on home page. So I will go back to the Elementor editor. I have Navigator enabled to have better access to each page section. And I will start with the first one, which is the header one. We created a slider. You can manage the settings and change images from style. Here you can delete the demo images and add your own. Also you can change the slider settings and make other settings. The text over the header was added with the heading widget. You can edit the text here and we added this search using the VP Rentals advanced search shortcode. The fields and settings for this shortcode will be managed from team options in the search section. Going further, in the next section we created a section with listing categories. I have already explained how to change the categories and how to manually upload images. Next we created a section with listings. For that we used the VP Rentals recent items widget. Here you will have the option to change the number of items that will be displayed and the number of items per row. You'll have the option to set a random order and you can display as grid. If this option will be enabled, then the number of items per row set here will not apply and the number of items will be automatically calculated based on the unit minimum width value that you can add here. You will also have the option to filter the listings that will show by category. You can select here the categories and only the properties from the selected categories will show. And if this option show featured listings only will be set to yes, then in this section you will have only featured listings displayed. In settings, you'll have the option to set a border width and a border radius. Going further, here we created a section with a blog post. For that, we use the VP Rentals featured article widget. Here you can select the blog post that will be displayed and you can change the type. The image that is displayed will be the featured image that you set for your blog post. Going further, here we created a section with tabs using the VP Rentals 
tabs widget. For each tab, you'll have the option to change title, change icon, and for the content of the tab, you can add text here or create a template and select it from this drop down. We have created a template for each tab and to change details you will need to edit the template assigned. The easy way is to go on home page and on hover on the edit with elementor button you will have the templates showing here and you will need only to select the one that you need to edit. So I will select tab 1 and here you can manage the template details. For example you can change the text and you can change the video that we added. If you want to access the templates from admin, you will need to go to templates here, saved templates. These templates will be imported along with the demo content and you just need to click edit with Elementor. Going back to the home page, I will go to the next section. Here we created a section with listing categories and I already explained how to manage the widget. For this section we added an image as background. You'll have the option to change it from style. Here you can delete the demo image and replace it with your own. Going further to the next section was created for client testimonials. We added an image for the section background you can change it from style. Here you can delete the demo image and replace it with your own. And in background overlay you can change opacity and the overlay color. To display the client testimonials we use the VP Rentals testimonial widgets and you'll have the option to change client name, title, image, the text. You can change the testimonial type and you can set the number of stars here. You will need to do this for each element added in this section. Going further to the last section on the page, here we created a section for blog posts. For that we used the VP Rentals recent items widget. We set it to show articles instead of properties and you will have the option to select the blog unit card type, set the number of items and the number of items per row. The filter section will apply only if the widget is set to display properties. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.